I'm here on Second Road and about to show you inside two one bedroom condos here at the Centric Sea. So the first one I'll be checking out is in the Bat Building on the seventh floor, 35 square meter in size and available to rent for 15,000 baht per month. And the second is in the main building on the 24th floor, 36 square meter in size and available to rent for 17,000 baht per month, both on a 12 month contract. And the washing machine. So this condo is in the back building. So not much of a balcony view. spacious bedroom handy blind too Strongest of pressure there. It's got sliding doors here. Also, curtain. So here's the pool. So now I'm going to check out the condo in the main building here on the 24th floor. So there's your balcony view, facing the back of the building. So it looks like straight ahead you have Third Road. Nice and spacious in here.
ten divoš machine. So right here you have the rooftop pool area. Fantastic view of Beach Road here. In the distance there you can see Colon Island. You've got a small gym. Got your cardio machines, benches, chest press. There's some small dumbbells too. So it looks like they have several two-storey car parks for your car or motorbike. One in the back building and one in the front building. So hopefully no issues parking here. So as you come out the complex, here you have Second Road. And Beach Road, just less than a five minute walk away. So straight ahead here you have the Marina Mall. Then at the end of second road you have Terminal 21. So the first condo I showed you inside is priced at 15,000 baht per month and the second 17,000 baht per month, both on a 12 month contract. And the electric and water is charged at government rate. And inside the condos there's no access to a communal Wi-Fi network, so you will have to install your own. Both condos are considered one bedroom units but there's no dividing wall between the bedroom and the living area instead of sliding glass door so personally I wouldn't class them as one bedroom units both condos were decently furnished with most pieces of furniture and appliances that you'll need for a living space both even had a handy washing machine both condos felt fairly spacious inside especially in the living room area and the bathrooms and the balcony windows seem to let in a decent amount of natural light. The second condo especially, from the balcony city view. The building also had key activated doors and lifts for added security. But what most people find appealing about those condos is the location. The right in the centre of the city, close to Beach Road. And other many hotspots within walking distance. So the negatives. I was aware that that complex is very popular and that the condos are high in demand but overall I wasn't too impressed with those condos due to the condition of the units it's clear that countless tenants have stayed them over the years the second one especially with notable signs of wear in the kitchen area and also on the bathroom walls but the first condo was in far better condition 
Some of the furniture inside the condos weren't the best of quality, such as the couch and the dining tables. And the kitchen top and units weren't too attractive. Despite the complex being close to the beach, neither condos had a balcony sea view. The first faced the main building, and the second had a fairly attractive city view. And at the front of the complex, a hotel's currently being constructed, and the drill sounds were noticeable. And as for the facilities, very disappointing. The pools were very small in size, and also didn't look to be very well maintained. The tiling around the pool seemed to be worn out. And the gym that I did view seemed to be fairly well equipped, but was compact in size. And lastly, in my opinion, both units are overpriced. The second one especially at 17,000 baht a month. Due to its condition, it's definitely not worthy of that rental price. 13,000 baht maybe. So out of 10, I'm going to have to rate those condos only a 5. For months I tried to check out a condo there, due to the popularity, but I wasn't too impressed. They felt worn out inside, due to the high number of tenants who have stayed in them over the years. And despite the great location, both condos were overpriced. So if you do some research online, you can find some far better alternatives nearby. A five minute walk to the left of the complex, here you have Central Patia Road. And just straight ahead there on the right, there you have Soy Bukau, the king of the bar scene in Patia. And further down, second road there, that'll take you to Central Mall, one of the most popular malls in Patia. So I hope that review was helpful. I appreciate your watching and the support that you give my channel daily. Also on my channel, I have memberships available if you want to sign up for them and help support the channel. And if you could all please like and subscribe, that'd be great. I'm approaching 10,000 subscribers now, which I'm very happy about. And I thank you all for. So take care.